أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I am Dr. Abdul Wahab, Associate Professor, <coughs> Department of Pharmacy, Guwahati University of Science and Technology. Uh, I am a course instructor for the Community Pharmacy and our today topic is Family Planning. Family Planning and our discussion outlines uh, we will define the family planning and we will also discuss uh, in our today topic object of family planning methods of family planning and characteristics of oral contraceptives factors to be taken into consideration by couples before contraceptive methods so these are our today discussion outlines for our today topic so before going to discuss the family planning in detail first of all we would like to define the family planning as according to the course content we should try to be specific and we should not touch all those aspects which are not in our domains because I don't want to elaborate that what our religion says about the family planning. So I mean that we should be specific. We should focus on the contents which are given in our syllabus. So first of all, I would like to define the family planning as according to expert committee of WHO, World Health Organization, that how can we define the family planning? So according to export committee of WHO, the family planning can be defined as the way of thinking and living that is adopted voluntarily upon the basis of knowledge, attitude and responsible decisions by individuals and couples in order to promote health and welfare of family groups and thus contribute effectively to the social development of country. So it is the definition according to expert committee of WHO. And there is one another definition of family planning like you can see over here to plan and limit the size of the family in accordance with the social, economic and health conditions so as to ensure that the family is happy both physically and mentally. Physically and mentally. The term family planning is replaced with a broader term like family welfare. So nowadays there is one a broader term which is used for the family planning that is family welfare so why we adopt the family planning methods as you know that family consists of husband wife and their children and all these members a family are dependent on each other. So a family planning constitutes the unit of a community and welfare of a family affects the community. If families are small, they will be economically better and happy while the large family ultimately affects the nation as a whole. So therefore, nowadays for the family planning, the second term which is mostly used, that is family welfare. And family planning means planning size of family in a manner compatible with physical and socioeconomic resources of parents and conducive to health 
and welfare of all members of the family. Objectives of family planning. So what are the different objectives of family planning? So the first one is to avoid the unwanted births. Second one is to bring about wanted births. Third one is to regulate interval between pregnancies. The fourth one is to control the birth time in relation to ages of parents. And the fifth one is to determine number of children in family. So these are the different objectives of family planning. Means that why we adopt the family planning methods. So being a community pharmacist, you should know all about the objectives of family planning and the different methods which are used for controlling birth. So being a pharmacist, you should have a knowledge all about the different methods of family, plan family planning. So how can we classify the different methods of family planning? We will discuss the different methods of family planning in detail in our coming lectures. So first of all, I would like to describe over here the different methods that how can we classify the different methods of family method uh, of family planning so the first one the main category of family planning the first one is non terminal or temporary method non terminal or temporary method second one is terminal or permanent methods terminal or permanent method the third one is medical termination of pregnancy so these are the three main categories of family planning methods and these methods are further divided into subtypes and those subtypes are further divided into subtypes like you can see over here non-terminal or temporary methods so these methods are further divided into two main types like natural methods and spacing methods and these two methods are further divided into subtypes like you can see over here natural methods so in natural methods there are other subtypes like you can see over here sexual abstinence coitus interruptus safe periods are rhythm method basal body temperature method prolonged lactation method vaginal washing method cervical mucus method so these are the subtypes of natural methods similarly the spacing method is further divided into subtypes like mechanical mechanical methods or barrier contraceptives chemical methods these two methods are further divided into subtypes like you can see the mechanical methods are barrier me contraceptives like uh, condoms diaphragms intrauterine devices female condoms or fendoms similarly the chemical methods are further divided into subtypes foam tablets Pessaries, creams, oral pills. So these are the subtypes of chemical methods. 
Similarly, the second brotic category, the second main category of family planning method is terminal methods or permanent methods, which are further divided into vasectomy, tubectomy, and laparoscopy. So these three are the subtypes of terminal methods or permanent methods. Similarly, the last one, the main category, the third category is medical termination of pregnancy. So it was all about the classification of different family uh, planning methods. No, I would like to explain, I would like to bring in your consideration, in your knowledge, that what should be the ideal characteristics of an ideal contraceptives. You can see there are some ideal characteristics for ideal contraceptive like uh, but before going to uh, discuss about the characteristic of ideal contraceptive first of all I would like to define that what is contraceptive contraceptive is a substance or drug which prevents the fusion of gametes during and after sexual activity ideal contraceptive contains some desirable qualities characteristics like reliability means an ideal contraceptive should be reliable it should be a hundred percent effective in order to prevent fusion of gametes similarly safety the second characteristic for an ideal contraceptive is safety it should be free from associated side effects and complications similarly reversibility it is also the characteristic of an ideal contraceptive complete return to fertility when the method is discontinued when the method is discontinued there should be complete return to fertility similarly low cost it is also the characteristic of an ideal contraceptive poor people may also be benefited it means that the cost should be low Conven conveniences I, 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 I means it should be convenient should be convenient to use long acting methods are generally convenient similarly cultural acceptability it is also a characteristic for an ideal contraceptive should be acceptable in culture so there are different factors to be taken into consideration by couples before contraceptive methods before adaptation of contraceptive methods or family planning methods so what are those factors as you can see over here like age of couple similarly health of couple number of pregnancies women already had number of living children health of children sex of children age of youngest child preference of couple for particular method facilities available for contraceptives cost involved in purchasing contraceptives cooperation and responsibility of either partner medical advice for using contraceptive methods 
whether couple wants to give space in their children so these are the different factors to be taken into consideration by couple before contraceptive methods so it was all about about the definition of the family planning about the objective of the family planning and the different methods or we can say about the classification of family planning methods similarly the different factors which should be taken into consideration by couple before contraceptive methods in our coming lectures we will discuss in detail all about these different methods which are used for controlling the birth so why we control the birth why we should adopt the different family planning methods for the welfare of the family as i told you that nowadays there one broad term is used that is family welfare because the family consists of husband wife and children and all these members are dependent on each other so it was all about the uh the different methods of family planning and definition of family planning so inshallah in our uh, coming lectures we will uh, try to elaborate to explain all about these methods about the merits and demerits of these methods so thank you so much uh, for listening uh, take care god bless you allah hafiz